Hey, Gavox here. So, there is a ton of things coming today in the show. I'll be live at twitch.tv slash gutfox uh, when they all go live, but I want to kind of give a heads up. It's not only what you see on your screen right here, but more, and there's major market imp implications on it. But before we get to that, I want to follow up my last video. There's still people in the comment sections for some reason defending sds on this stuff okay like i like i know everybody wants more proof but like am i am i attacking superman for you guys right here am i attacking apple pie i apologize but some things need to be come to light because it's not all peaches and rainbows here in sds's virtual world we know the real world ain't that way so i can't say that but anyways the show zone you know made a really good retweet i, I recommend following them it's a good it's a good uh, twitter account good good website the show zone um anyways this user was banned for a year for 941 stub sell order that was flagged as stub transferring. 941 stubs. These bans look more likely like a big bug, really hoping SDS addresses soon. And you're like, oh, one, one example of it. That's not great, right? It, it, the message from SDS. The following activity was recorded. Power for transfer 941 stubs. Account sharing, stub transferring. And then he got banned for a year, okay? Uh, and these are guys without like you know these are just normal dudes they don't have a social following they can't make anything reach out so like it's kind of just like everybody's like oh screw you don't care i got mine i'm not banned it's like you know this could eventually happen to you like let's please again try and put ourselves in their shoes this sucks you know being console banned from this stuff another one in the comment section right here i got banned flipping diamond equipment on release night something i've been doing for years now because it's the best and most etc this one, your idea has been flagged for violating terms of service and following activity. 331 Gold Stage iPro SM for 49,000 stubs, okay? And then you can look at his, his market transactions. Do you see how he's buying for 40,000, selling for 48? Like right after each other, right? Literally just flipping cards. So it's, it's, a, little, it's a little frustrating um, to see this kind of stuff happen in the game. And, and now I'm going to talk about, hey... Here are some good flips, and here's what you can do to invest. I'm like, am I giving bad information? Like, I understand a lot of people got banned that we're actually doing some third-party transfers, and, you know, that's the game, right? You try you try and get around the systems, and they pop you. But a lot of people got, you know, mistimingly hit, and those are the people that we need to say, hey, SDS, clean your shit up, okay? Or get your helpline, you know, up and running, and, and you know, don't go full EA on us, please, with these bans. So... I, I, dude, I don't know. I'm, I'm having conflicting thoughts whether to talk about this or not because these are going to be great investment opportunities and they've been great investment opportunities for years. But as we just saw, like, you know, great flipping opportunities that we've had in the past literally just got people banned. So let's talk about it. But you proceed with your own risk. Um, I know there's a lot of people out there that just hate market maneuvering at all. But like, you guys got to know the market is like super head to head. They're like, oh man, you know, people like, People should get banned for work in the market because it's not actually just playing baseball. But some people just enjoy market work, right? Some people are addicted to this kind of stuff. And like, why hate on other people's, you know, passions and hobbies and what they like to do? It's so like, if you like to only play the baseball party game, that's fine. Some people only like to build their team up. Some people only like to uh, work, you know, the stub market. And that's completely legitimate, okay? So let's talk about this, okay? Flash sales today starting at 1 p.m. Pacific, a.k.a. what is that, 4 Eastern? Okay, packs will be available. Purchase one show shot for one hour only. Uh, they usually do it for about four hours, so just FYA, uh, FYI, FYA. Um, we can expect things like uh, big dog packs. I, we don't know exactly where they're gonna go, but we can kind of like talk about what they could potentially put in there. Um, uh, we could see a live series pack, 85 plus. So diamonds could take a huge L today. So uh, those are something you want to look at. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at live series first. Live series. Um, it's really not the, the top market because, like, nobody's going to be pulling Mike Trout out of those packs. At least last year they didn't really. But he could go down a little bit. It might not be a bad idea. A lot of people will be focused on him. These guys might go down a little bit. I just take, like, mental note of their numbers. And if they decrease, like, 20%, 30%, go ahead and snatch on them. But if they're only down 10%, if you need them, it's a good day to buy them for, like, a collection. But investments, they really they got to go down more per, 10, more than 10%, okay? Because there's, there's that uh, tax on the auction house. Uh, but anyways... 
when we're really looking at uh, these 85s, I will say, 85s are going to go down to their minimum value. So really look to, to pick these things up for what you can. Like Chris Sale could easily be cut in half today uh, because like there's going to be a lot of people pulling those packs. A lot of people are going to be pulling an 86 overall out of them because the odds are heavily weighted to this lower end. So a lot of these cards, if you have extras, I would definitely offload them before the stub sale or before, not stub sale, before the pack sale goes live, okay? Because these things can get beaten. Um, there will be a little bit of bounce back too after the supply goes away, but just FYI, um, that's kind of what we're looking like for the if it's the live series. Otherwise, other packs that we can see, um, they might do. Uh, I don't. What pack do we probably? I don't know if they're gonna do a face of the franchise pack. They could only really like put it at ten thousand stubs, but I mean these things are already so cheap. I don't expect a face of the franchise pack. Um, maybe cover athletes um yeah if we get a cover athlete pack it's not a bad pack to grab a few of we're seeing them at 22k right now i think we'll potentially go down if there's a cover athlete pack this is, these things get beaten down hard um the other one what i would think is those those ones we kind of talked about big dog um veteran bacon yeah it's kind of kind of what we're looking at is let me see how they on the market packs big dog wouldn't be but we could there be there might be a headliners pack which would bring down a little bit of the market uh on the cards themselves so the headliners uh, probably wouldn't be like a chase pack or anything but chase cards could just like get pulled out of more chase packs that are pulled overall um yeah the other one would be like those big dog packs that we've gotten big dog one and two so you can like if those cards are something that's evaded you um for a while uh it wouldn't be like ron santa who would be the who would be a big dog card let me look through is i think he was an event reward right was c-shack an event reward i think for guys like that oh yeah yeah, yelich 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 would be a big dog okay yelich's price could completely uh, drastically go down today if big dog packs are out um andrew miller i think was yeah br we're looking for guys that got like 60k 90 overall 50 to 60 david price would be another one Oh, this Moreno could easily go down. Like, he could go down into the 30s, which isn't a bad grab. 30s to 20s uh, in there. Go ahead and make make what you think. Bobby Witt, same thing. I think he's a big dog. Let me go ahead and take a look at him. I already got him. I think he's that. So, is it worth a sell-off? That's that's all on you. But, like, it's it's an incredible opportunity um, for, for cards and the prices of these cards to go down, whether you want them just for your team, for collections, for anything. Definitely be on, uh, on the lookout for that. We also have um, more bosses coming, obviously. They're going to do a stream. I'll be streaming, like I said. Uh, we'll be watching this 11.30 a.m. Pacific time. So that's like a three hours later East Coast time is when they'll be streaming. They'll push the button when it ends. Featured program, reveal of the final boss. Um, the program, as we know, is, is kind of alluded to. All this stuff here on the main menu, you can kind of take a look at it. Featured program, five bosses, moments, conquest, first roster attribute upgrade. So... Like I said, today's also a great investment in any live series cards that you think are going to go up, but you don't really want to, um, you, know, you don't have any investments right now. So, like, I would go ahead and mark down targets of guys you think can go up. And then if they don't go up today, start buying them. Because people are going to be offloading their, their failed investments for quite a bit. Who's a, um, let's see, let's take a look at some, you know, let's do live series, um, starting pitchers. I think, what, is Bundy off to a good start? I didn't really invest at all because I kind of want to see how the new investment changes happen. So I didn't get into investments at all because I was so um, pissed off at the changes and I just didn't feel like it was worth my time. I, I want to see how it works. And I may have made a mistake. People are probably going to make, uh, you know, millions of stubs off these investments. But uh, overall, I just kind of like playing it out and I'll, I'll take a look at it going down the road. But um, yeah, it's just something I didn't have a lot of uh, will or want to do. Kluber's oh he's a Ray Ray's kind of high pitching who am I looking for is yeah huh so anyways I got make some make some notes and then buy put in a lot of buy orders um uh, for those cards you can even put in buy orders ahead of time lower on um on these cards because if they get upgraded and then people keep quick selling it they can quick sell it's like another thing is like you can put in buy orders now if the quick sell value is a certain thing if they go up and that's below the quick sell people will still sell to you below the quick sell. It's a really weird thing um, because they just sell when they open the pack instead of 
quick selling it so uh, you can only do that now before they're upgraded so even cars that are like higher up that might not be great investments you can put in you can put in uh, buy orders now for them uh, because they won't be able to do that afterwards so that's another strat that you want to do put in a bunch of buy orders but anyways that is i think that's all i want to talk about in the video a lot of things going on uh if you have any questions obviously uh drop them below in the comments please like subscribe uh, if you got them you want them answered live twitch.tv slash gutfox i'll see you over there today's gonna be an absolutely huge day after a huge day over in the nfl thanks for watching call to action i will see you tomorrow